The contest over the throne of the Argives may have something to do with the fact that by this date the Greek world of antiquity had been overrun by the Dorians. The Dark Age of the Aegean, most of the Mediterranean, even Egypt, the Near East, India and China, Anatolia and the Black Sea cultures, began with a series of migrations of people of Japhetic stock that some historians like to call Aryans or Indo-European peoples of very fair complexions. The Dorians were kin to the original Greeks, not the Danaan or Ionian Greeks. When the Dorians entered the area, much of Mycenae fled. Many of the Thebans fled to Sardinia and Ionians through the Peloponnese sailed back over the Aegean to Asia Minor. The Hellenic culture developed as a result of these Dorian invasions. These patrilinear cultures nailed the lid on the coffin of the earlier matriarchal societies. The Hellenes were a unification of indigenous Japhetic peoples in ancient Greece, Phoenicians, Syrians, Canaanites and Israelites, known as Danaan and Ionians and Achaeans, and the Dorians that settled among them all at the beginning of the Dark Age. Because of the Dorian invasion, many Danaan took to sea and fled to Ireland. During these dark centuries, these various cultures became unified through intermarriage, alliances, treaties, population shifts, and came to identify themselves as one people, the Hellenes. The outsiders concocted a fictitious genealogy, not from Japheth of the locals and Dorians, but from Deucalion, who was the Greek Noah, survivor of an ancient flood. Because the Semitic newcomers also had a patriarch who survived a flood, Noah, then their own genealogies were made to fit this history. For this reason, the Hellenes were later renowned as sons of Deucalion. The strong cultural seat of the Hellenes was in Thessaly, after the disasters of the Trojan War. The Dorians were an Iron Age culture. The Dorian invasion was only a part of the mass migrations occurring after the global disasters in 1229 BC. Other Black Sea and Balkan cultures of Japhetic stock moved south. One people, historians call Aryans for want of a better term, invaded India and overran Dravidian culture, imposing a strict caste system. The Nordics ruled over the darker-skinned and dark-eyed indigenous people, which explains why so much of the Vedic and Sanskrit literature directly and indirectly hint of a cold, subartic origin, which would have been alien to the Dravidians. These people, kin to the Dorians, settled also in Asia Minor, but as this was a major Ionian region, they assimilated quietly. Innumerable masses of people from the north migrated into ancient Elam and Iran, where they would mix with the population and later emerge as the nations of Persia and Media. This year is 3240 before Armageddon, or 1080 times 3 years. 1. Atlantis, mother of empires. 2. Round Towers of Atlantis. 3. Celtic myth and legend. 4. Jasha. 5. Nature worship. 7. The Philosopher and the Druid. 8. The Stone Angle. 9. Destruction of Atlantis. 10. History and Quotations. 11. Introduction to Comets. 12. Flying Serpents and Dragons. 15. The Origins of Greek Civilization. 16. History and Quotations. 17. The Greek Myths. 1131 BC, 2764 AM. This is the date some believe that the Tuath de Danan king, Lugaid Iam Fadhe, instituted the games of myth. The victors won wives. He was the twelfth king of his line. It is not clear if this dating is accurate, however. This was the 276th year, 138 plus 138, of Israel since it conquered Canaan in 1407 BC. 1. Round Towers of Atlantis. 1129 BC, 2766 AM. Tiglath Pilasa I of Assyria conquers Babylon exactly 144 years after Assyria became an empire in 1273 BC and annexed Babylon. The cuneiform texts contemporary with his reign claim he had conquered all of his neighbours and forged an expansive empire. This was 30 years after Assyria defeated the Kassites. 1. A Short History of the World 1123 BC, 2772 AM The Anunnaki planet Nibiru enters the inner solar system after 732 years below the ecliptic and passes dangerously close to Earth in transit. This occurred when the Far East was facing the Sun and Europe was facing the Black Night skies. 
The Chinese record a violent sun darkening episode. The Mandate of Heaven declared the change of rulership and during a battle on land the comets fought in the sky. The Shang dynasty collapsed and the Zhao dynasty emerged as 250,000 orientals took to ships and disappeared over the eastern horizon to land on the shores of ancient America. H.G. Wells in his short history of the world wrote that this collapse of dynasty occurred in 1125 BC, two years off. And Frank Joseph wrote that this all happened in 1122 BC, one year off. Nibiru begins its 60-year journey over the ecliptic. This was 792 years after Nibiru passed in 1915 BC and caused worldwide disasters, the ancients calling it Typhon. They declared it was the sister monster of Phoenix. This was 324 years, 108 times 3, after Israel escaped the cataclysm in Egypt in 1447 BC at the Exodus. In the year 96 AD, the book of Revelation was written, which has a perfect description of what Nibiru is going to do to the world in 2046 AD in the Trumpet Judgments. The date 96 AD is exactly 1218 years after 1123 BC, when Nibiru destroys ancient China, and counting this same 1218 years after 96 AD is the year 1314 AD, when Nibiru again destroys China and the Near East. 1. A Short History of the World 1121 BC, 2774 AM An old inscription on the vestry of the Church of St Peter upon Cornhill in London reads that Brutus came to Britain in 1120 BC. This was 108 years after the fall of Troy in 1229 BC and 360 years after Troy was founded in 1481 BC. Brutus was the descendant of Aeneas and occupied the city of Lundin, London, renaming it Caer Troia or New Troy, though the name never stuck. Between 1135 to 1106 BC, Brutus departed Italy and took up residence with fugitives from Troy living in bondage in Greece under King Pandrusus. Brutus led them in an insurrection that achieved their freedom and King Pandrusus gave Brutus 324 ships with provisions. At 50 people per ship, this was 16,200 people. However, if these were not warships, then their capacity could have been up to 80 to 100 people. At 80 per ship, their population would have been 25,920 people, enough to start a nation. Brutus received some kind of a divine omen that instructed him to sail past the European continent to the far western isles, which he was told would be the future seat of an empire. Tradition affirms that both Britain and Ireland were populated by the two opposing forces of the Trojan War. The Danaan of Israelite origin settled Ireland, and the descendants of Ilium of Troy settled Britain. The later cultures of the Brits and the Irish would continue this animosity. 1. Tracing our ancestors. 